so looking to boost the creative brain in with the logic brain so testing by playing the music but also looking to stimulate the logical aspect as well so trying to create the logical creative um, mechanism within our games see if this technique works I mean it may not you know I may just end up enjoying the music but then hating the chess so I want to try and get the, the blend just right so I'm gonna kick in and play a few games I wonder if there's any tournaments on actually uh, let's see Don't really like the increments on, on these things, so let's see. Well, there's a 10 minute rapid arena. I was really looking to do them short, quick things, but uh, 10 minute. Let's see if it's got the Grandmasters in this one. Oh, yeah, the 1800s and all that sort of stuff. Okay, let's just jump in on this one and just have, have a quick look. Okay, so we'll just. Uh, through here okay so the positions that you don't like I mean this position here I'm not a fan of don't like it because it puts off I want to push on to the bishop but like we've mentioned doesn't really leave me in a good position because the take and then the knights here and the bishop somehow virtually looks like it's got some nice position could grab the pawn but then the queen comes here and presses onto the pawn here so again, a little bit of a non-position. So I'm actually just going to develop the knight, trying to kick in the logical aspect. I'm going to develop my own bishop, but maybe I should bring the bishop here protecting. But we don't need to do that for now. And if we castle, we know that the potentially can come. We can do the same thing. Now I'm going to open up the dark square bishop keeping it simple and attack the dark square bishop to open up our rook if they take and he doesn't want to play that game so we could bring our bishop back but then are we playing defensive is this where the creative mind then goes oh yeah I know how to defend I'll block that off I'm wasting time so I'm gonna attack and double the pawns this side okay so I don't feel like I've lost tempo that way so we can bring the bishop into this little space here don't really see a problem with that so it's still keeping this diagonal towards the king for any potential attacks there maybe developing the knight across so it's looking to it's left this pawn so we could take but then his pawn takes and he wins two pawns because he's got the knight there so i'm going to take in the center just to get rid of that combination and he's still got that combination again so he's hunting that combination like crazy so if we took this time he doesn't have another pawn to drop on our bishop is protected so if he comes and attacks looks like we can take this pawn here with the knight it's the general feel I'm getting it looks like they've slowed down now because they've probably realized they didn't have you know the same type of attack formation on the pawn so we simply just well we can take the knight yeah it's not arty it's straightforward it's getting a piece off the board is it helping develop their bishop into a better position if they do take with the bishop or do I have something else because the knight could attack here and attack the queen but then is my position okay do I have somewhere to come back on because the Queen is not just gonna sit there it's probably going to attack so out to come back in so if we come here then we're attacking this pawn but then that's easily defended because they drop here but the Knight is centralized it's just that it's blocking our center pawn here that doesn't look too bad it's just that then he's still got this Knight which is probably going to come back to haunt us if we don't take it that's the crying shame thing because if we do move it here we're attacking the queen queen comes then we're still bouncing here then his knight can start activating itself making its way around you know that type of thing so 
that's the creative side of things so let's simply do the logical thing and just take it off the board which is part of the mantra simply remove pieces simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically do have a space here where we can attack this rook which does look quite nice it's got these pawns waiting to do something so simple direct moves just let's attack keep attacking don't think too defensive in that sense and let's attack again keep the momentum going our bishop doesn't have any protection on it so got to be very mindful of that as well yeah as we said so we can bring the queen up here to defend the bishop but then his rook can quite easily come across here to attack then we can bring the bishop queen down to attack his um, queen his rook is owning the file though so that's not really what we want to do so we can bring the bishop back just to protect this pawn here he does have the diagonal now which is going to be the knight attacking here so this is the creative side thinking oh my god he's going to whoop me yeah but we do have that to block and then he's got his bishop coming here so that's a load of pressure potential pressure that's going to kick in whereas if we did that rook comes across queen comes here attacking the queen maybe the queen takes bishop takes rook comes down attacks the bishop bishop can come and sit here but the rook is owning this file don't really want the rook owning that file you see okay so maybe we come this way then with the bishop attacking the knight we know the rook's going to come across attack the queen queen can just jump to the side here okay let's uh, bring the bishop here turned it into an attack mode rather than a defense mode look at that straight away down there did we say look boom simple basic attacks but the logical side has said look you don't need to worry about it we've covered it off okay yep and the rook coming again like we said we've covered it off so we logically dealt with it So he's moving now to make space for his bishop to come here like we said so all of that again has been covered off this pawn has got no protection on it and I don't think they're worried about that because they believe once that bishop gets there they're going to get their queen across somehow so I'm going to take the pawn in the first instance so that then our bishop can come down here and fight off the bishop if it needs be so it's not gone that far down but it's gone to an area where the rook can come and put pressure onto our queen so if we go and attack his rook it's part of the plan our bishop doesn't have any protection so we're ready to move this into this position if need be okay so he's attacked us like we just said don't have any protection on so we could come down like we said to here is there anything else it could do uh, no let's just bring it here logically we want to try and protect our king Gary don't want to get arty we're on four minutes at the minute so wow and they're on eight minutes <laughs> I think it's better trying to mix the two in together and you could see quite a lot of points where so now he's attacking we could protect with the bishop here what's the danger to that because the rook is facing off our queen and the bishop could come here and attack the pawn but he's not going to do that um, bishop does have this attack here, a bit arty. Okay. What's the rook got? Rook can come up here. We don't have anything on this pawn. Um, what else? Queen. Not meeting. Oh! 
it's a nice one queen could come here facing off the center of this pawn obviously it's easily defended because the pawn will drop here but it gives them something to think about and if that pawn drops then the bishop can actually take the pawn because the pawn can't take it back that's an interesting one so I'd rather go with that than look to defend the pawn here because it's attacking the king area that's the logical side of things trying to kick in it does have a diagonal here as well on the rook so if the queen did go and greedy munch probably just go straight for the checkmate really but so the bishops come back and this position here looks like it's still free for us doesn't it so we could just drop here for the checkmate wow create logical creative thinking <laughs> wow dear me that that was quite impressive I'm, I'm impressed with that myself